Hey guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. Today I have a very exciting unboxing. This is an unboxing of two Gucci items. As you can tell from the title, you already know what it is, but if you want to see me unbox these and give you my first initial thoughts on them, then just keep on watching. Alright, so I want to give a little bit of a backstory. My birthday was a little over a week ago at the time of me filming this. It was September 17th and my boyfriend took me and surprised me. I had no idea what we were getting, where we were going. Um, he took me and surprised me and bought me two things from Gucci and I'm super, super excited about them. Um, they were not really super on my radar until recently, but now that I own them, I'm so happy that I do. Now, I will say I have worn these, so that's why I can kind of give my like first initial thoughts on them. And this is not like a true unboxing, but I am going to unbox it and show you how they came packaged. So I did pick these up at a Gucci store inside of a Saks, so it was not like a standalone Gucci store, but it was inside of Saks. So, I'm going to open up the first one. This is the beautiful box that it comes in. I love the black and white packaging of theirs. That's one thing I love about Chanel's packaging too, is the black and white. I just think it's so sleek and I love it. So it comes with tissue paper. And then it also has a little dust bag. And of course, with all your leather goods, you should keep them in the dust bag. Now, I do want to point out that the lady that was helping me said that with your bags and belts and everything, you're supposed to keep it in the box. But I have heard from so many different places that you are not supposed to keep your leather goods or even like your canvas Louis pieces in their box because I guess the humidity can damage the item. So I'm definitely not going to be storing them in the box that, I don't know, even though she said you're supposed to, I just don't really believe it because of everything I've heard. So you guys have to let me know in the comments what you've been told about storing your items in boxes because I've always been told not to. So I just wanna throw that out there. Oh, I did wanna also note that they did have ribbon tied on them, but I could not get the ribbon to go back on. But once you get the dust bag, you just open it up and then out comes the beautiful Gucci Marmont belt. I believe this is the one and a half inch. I will definitely go ahead and link down below the two items that I got. This is the women's, I'm pretty sure, one and a half inch, and my size is a 80. So I had tried on a 75, a 90, an 85, and 80 was the perfect size for me. I am gonna go ahead and insert modeling shots for you so you can see the difference. Now I have been wearing this, I did wear it a couple times, and one thing I wanna point out, and I don't know how well you'll be able to really tell, is I think I had it maybe a little bit too tight for sitting. Standing it was fine, but sitting I think it was a little bit too tight, and it kind of like got a little bit of like a curve in the back, because I think what was happening was, was the belt loop was putting too much pressure on the belt when I was sitting, so now if I know I'm gonna be sitting a lot while wearing it, I'm definitely gonna make sure to have it a little bit looser just to make sure that it doesn't create that like curve, which doesn't even look too bad now, but I could tell a lot when I first op when I first took it off the day that I had worn it a little bit too tight. So overall it looks really good so far. And this is more of my like weekend wear or like more dressed up outfits. So I'm very, very excited about that one. And then in the second box is another belt. It's another Marmont belt. And I was so surprised that my boyfriend actually like wanted to get two of these because he's not very much into luxury like I am. But the second one is the Gucci Marmont belt. And this one is, I believe, an inch or maybe it's just shy of an inch. But this is the one that I wear for like work or if I'm going to be going more just more casual, I will wear this one because it's a little bit more understated. And let me show you them next to each other. You can definitely see there is a difference between this one, which is one and a half, and this one is probably roughly an inch. So just keep that in mind. Like this one is definitely more for like my weekend wear and this is more for my weekday. So far, I really, really am enjoying these, and I do think these are a fair price for being a luxury belt. 
Like I was looking at Louis Vuitton's belts and they're definitely much more expensive than these and some of their belts are like canvas I think. Like they are not actually leather. This is leather and this one was $360 I believe and then the bigger one was $470. So yes, of course it is expensive for belts but it is luxury you know gucci is luxury but i feel like for you know like i said for a luxury belt they aren't terrible i mean 360 isn't horrible for an all leather belt and 470 isn't either especially with the big hardware so yeah i mean so far i'm really loving these i will definitely do like an update video down the road to let you know how they're holding up so far i'm not seeing any like notable signs of wear and i have worn this one quite a bit since I got them. I know I've only had them for like a little over a week, but I did wear this to work like four days. So, you know, I mean, I guess that's not really a lot in the grand scheme of things, but it is, you know, and I don't see anything really wrong with it yet. And I did wear this one like three times since I got it. And like I said, the only thing I had noticed was it kind of got a little bit of a curve because it was a little bit tight when I was sitting. So like I said, I will definitely make sure to keep it a little bit looser when I know I'm going to be sitting mostly. So yeah, that is really all I have to say about these so far. I just wanted to kind of jump on camera, show you them, model them so you can see the difference because I know when I was looking online, it was really hard to decide which one I would want. Now it's funny because I was looking at these belts and I was just going to buy myself one of them. I didn't know he was surprising me with, you know, taking me to get these. And I was so hard when I was in the store with him. I'm like, I don't know which one I should get. And that's why he said, just get both. You know, they serve different purposes. So I got both and I'm so, so thankful for him for doing that for me. I love these belts. And now I always will think of him every time I put them on. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert the modeling shots for you. And that'll pretty much wrap up the video. So let me just show you the mod shots. All right, so here is the one and a half inch belt. As you can see, it definitely is wide. It pretty much takes up the entirety of the belt loop area. I don't think I could fit any much more, any bigger than this size. So it goes around, it's nice. And on this setting is where it's tighter. So I would not wear it like this to sit, but it definitely does feel like it's holding up my pants. So that's good if I were to sit I'd probably just do this. I loosen it that way it's not as tight for when I sit down. So it is definitely super, super cute. Let me try to angle you down a bit just so you can see. I absolutely love this. Like with this outfit right now, I think it looks super cute and it's perfect for like the weekend and wearing with crop tops or you know tucking in or bodysuits. So I really love it. And now I'm gonna try on the smaller one so you can see. And I'll try to insert like a clip of both of them side by side so that you can see the difference in how they look next to each other. All right, so here is the smaller one. As you can tell already, it is a much smaller belt in comparison. Let me just hold this up. I mean, just right away, like I said, I will insert a clip of them side by side on, but you can see like what a difference that is. So this one for me personally, with my office job in particular, I wouldn't wear this one because it's just kind of too much. But as far as this one goes, I think this is a great little work compliment. I think it is very cute. And as you can see, it doesn't take up nearly as much space in the loop. It's very much more narrow. So I think this is super cute. And honestly, even for a weekend outfit, I think this is cute. Like I would still wear this on the weekend. It just depends on, you know, what look you're going for. So I All right guys, so that is it for this Gucci Marmont double unboxing. I really hope you enjoyed. If you have these belts, let me know down below, or if you have any other luxury belts that you love, then definitely leave me a comment because I would love to check them out. But that is it for this video. I will definitely do an update down the road once I've had more time to wear them and see how they hold up. But I have very high hopes and I think they will hold up great as long as you just put a little bit of care into them, which I do, so. That is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe before you go and I will see you in the next one. Bye!